Good morning. Uh, this video is basically to show how to build the quarter watt practice amp. It's a tube amp. That's the schematic. Um, it's slightly different than what I have hooked up here, but that's okay. You can pretty much build this thing any way you want, and it's kind of hard to screw it up. That is the voltage pump from the Murder 1. Frequency Central is where I borrowed that from on do-it-yourself stomp boxes forum. Um, the power section is kind of stolen from the Firefly built by Doug Hammond. And I'm running this thing at about 81 volts is what I measured on the, the B plus of the voltage pump. So anyways, use all the appropriate parts and build this at your own risk. It'll probably kill you or burn your house down. And uh, yeah. That's all the warnings I feel like giving. I'll let you hear it real quick. I should probably say thanks to Doug Hammond and Rick Holt for actually inspiring me to build this stuff. It's not that this is the best sounding thing in the world, but this is the one that everybody seems to want to build, and they always ask me for the schematic. Neck pickup. Distortion pedal, don't need to go through that. I'm sure you own five if you're watching this. Uh, valve caster is a design that you can find on the do it yourself stomp box forum. If you're watching this, you probably have also built one of these. If not, you should build one. They're pretty awesome beginning to project. This one's almost stock, not quite. Um, some of the things that I've changed there's a 1.5k cathode resistor on the second gain stage uh, in a stock one it's just grounded so anyways I wanted to give it a little bit of bias uh, the other thing is this wire is hooked up to the plates I don't know if you can see it and it's only hooked up to the plates and the B plus of the voltage pump so there's 81 volts on the plates. Um, obviously, you would want to separate the plates from everything else that's connected to the 9 volts. Uh, let's see. The voltage pump you can find on the Murder 1 schematic by Frequency Central and do-it-yourself stump box for them. Rick Holt is his name. Um, awesome builder. Uh, the Firefly schematic has a better version of this power amp. But uh, this is basically what I got going on. And this bypass cap would be a uh, 220 microfarad, like a 50 volt. There's the rest of the schematic. And uh, anyways, like I said, the schematic's a little different than what I got going on. I've got a valve caster. It's just basically functioning as the preamp. The power tube. God, this thing's a mess. It's funny. 
the power tube. I pretty much built everything on the socket, which is kind of funny. Um, that's the cathode resistor right there. This one ended up being uh, 430 ohms. It's a, a 100 ohm with a 330 ohm. You should probably use like a 2 watt. That would be safe. 12 AU7 power tube. This is the output transformer. I believe I got this at uh, Radio Shack for three bucks. It's a 1K to 8 ohm. Don't know how much voltage you're actually supposed to put through this thing. Uh, I was pretty much willing to risk the three dollars I spent on it. Um, if you build this, build it at your own risk, and you really should use a better output transformer. It'll sound better, and it'll be safer. This is the most iffy part. Uh, like a Hammond 125A is probably more appropriate. You want 22K for the resistance, 22K to 8 ohm. So anyways, that's about it. 81 volts out of the voltage pump. Crappy OT. And uh, that's the power tube. So anyways, check out the forums. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Send me a private message or whatever here on YouTube. And uh, yeah, build at your own risk and do enjoy.